Estonia, a tiny country of 1.3 million people, is a world leader not just in electronic communications, but also in e-citizenship and e-government. Whereas elsewhere in Europe, the only experiment with e-voting, in Estonia it is reality. At the last parliamentary elections, over 30,000 votes were cast online in what became known as the world's first e-elections. To learn more about e-government, we travel to Ulemiste, a suburb of Tallinn and the hub of Estonian technology. E-governance uh, is actually, uh, let's say, keyword for uh, uh, more productive and, uh, and more enjoyable life from the perspective of citizen. Almost anything in Estonia, from voting to asking for a planning permission, can be done online. Willem is demonstrating how to electronically sign an annual tax return. The same encryption procedure is used, for example, in e-voting. The new mobile ID offers the same security as an ID card with a chip, but doesn't require the card reader. All necessary certificates and keys are handled through one's mobile phone. One cannot understand the reasons behind Estonia's techno boom without looking back at its history. The small country has learned her lesson of democracy the hard way and came to regard her cutting-edge technology of modern times as the best guarantee that the tragedies of the past would not be repeated. This modest memorial plate on the facade of the government house lists dozens of Estonian MPs murdered by the Soviets. And inside the house, in the antechamber of the cabinet meeting room, the hang portraits of eight former prime ministers, only one of whom died of natural causes, the rest perished. This is probably one of Europe's smallest and most technology-ridden cabinet rooms, with not a single scrap of paper in sight. The Estonian government is spreading its e-achievements worldwide via its own e-governance academy. The success of the whole e-government program depends on the very robust privacy protection for personal information, the most important element of e-elections as well. During pre-electoral period, for everybody who simply has an ID card, which is a, a mandatory thing to have, and uh, also has an access to a computer with an ID card reader, in spite of where you are located at the moment. So, for example, I have voted at the local elections in South America. The local uh, Estonian elections. Local, local <laughs> Estonian elections. I carried my laptop, I've got my ID card and I voted in Chile. How does e-voting work? We address this question to Tarvi Martens, the technological guru behind Estonian e-election. You make your selection and it will be encrypted. It's like sealed with a white envelope. And, uh, and then what you do is you sign it digitally this encrypted vote, okay? And then it's like an outer, outer envelope then. And those double envelopes will be collected in the server, and when it comes to counting, those outer envelopes, meaning digital signatures, your personal data, will be thrown away, and only those anonymous white encrypted votes will be counted. So what do you think are the reasons for Estonia being uh, so much ahead of many other bigger countries, uh, technology-wise? Well, I think the first thing to mention is education. Uh, people were taught uh, quite detailed engineering skills, and that's clearly where it starts from. But there at is... School. At school, absolutely, and university. I mean, their, their mathematical skills are very high. Uh, engineering generally is uh, still quite an esteemed profession, like it is in Germany. But there's also a history, which you can see behind us, of uh, trading and communication. And I think that uh, many Estonians explicitly say that uh, the communication revolution is really just uh, an electronic form of what the country's been doing for, for centuries. I remember looking down at old Tallinn from this very hill many years ago during the Soviet occupation. The view was then largely ruined by several ugly masts. This is one of them. There were special jamming masts built by the KGB to interfere with Western broadcasts. The towers are no more. The perspective is clear. With the help of the cutting-edge technology, Little Estonia has become one of the world's most open societies and one of its strongest democracies.